Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So Aries, let's see how you're coming into the reading. How is Aries coming into the reading? How is Aries coming? Yes, a big old fat yes answer. All right, so whatever the question is, it is yes. Okay, whatever the question is, if it's a yes or no, the answer is yes. You're also coming into weeks of no communication. Yes, you're taking a break. Yes, you're trying to grow something. Yes, you're trying to stay grounded. Yes, you're concerned about yourself. Yes, maybe you have cut yourself off to the world or to a, a specific person. You just really feel like um, you need to get to a place of clear, clear thinking, clear mind. Um, let's see. How is Aries coming into the reading? Yeah, so you feel like something isn't changing. Um, um, you're looking at timing. And you're seeing that maybe there's no growth or lack of growth or it should be more. Something should be more. Um, let's see. You're really getting grounded. You got all green cards, Aries. So let's see. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries? Yeah, resourceful. It's like you're looking at your resources and you also may even be trying to grow your your resources, your portfolio, your financial portfolio. Um, you're coming out of irrational thinking, acting. It's upside down. So, you know, up, upright, it will be irrational, but you're coming to being more rational, more resourceful, um, getting to a place of understanding you and what part you play in certain situations, whether it is a career in finance or love and romance here. Let's see. Also, you're trying to make some changes uh, for your birthday or around your birthday here. That was coming out. Let's see. Yeah. Christmas could have been significant for you. I don't know. Um, something about family or fun or relationships or people relationships. You could have even been a little bit blue or sad or saddened by the fact that you know, Christmas isn't the same or isn't like it used to be. You didn't have what everyone else had. I don't know if you're kind of measuring your life up to something else or someone else or other people. Anyway, the holiday season or it made you kind of upset or not upset, but more so depressed. Let's see how your person feels, whomever you're coming to the reading for. Let's see how they feel. All right. So, um, all right, so your person could have two different people that they're in love with, or they just, they're just always of two different minds about, you know, relationships. Maybe they're always in two different relationships, or they want to be in and then they want to be out. Um, they could be trying to grow two different relationships. They feel like maybe you're very sweet. Um, they could be straight up stalking you, or they feel like you're stalking them. Uh, they're trying to save their marriage or their relationship uh, either with you or with uh, another person, uh, the feminine, or they feel like you're very feminine. Um, this person may be creating right now, creating a lot of different relationships. They're just open to any opportunities with that feminine card coming up. It's like, um, your person could see that maybe you're deserving but they're not giving engagement ring in the reverse. They're not seeing the value in the relationship or in you. They could even be obsessed with you. We had another card of straight up stalking you, staring at your pictures, obsessed with you, but not able to give because giving came in the reverse. Maybe seeing the value in you, but not being able to propose anything to you. Yeah, they become kind of complacent, but they do love you. But they're of two minds about this, yeah, because they have somebody else. Don't text me, call me, yeah. I mean, don't call me, text me, yeah. So it's like they put parameters on your relationship because they're already in something. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aries. What's the advice for Aries moving forward? Advice for Aries. It's up to you. It's definitely up to you about what you want to do here. Um, the universe is going to align some things for you in, in the perfect timing and it's still going to be up to you 
the universe can't make this decision for you and they won't but they want you to know what you're dealing with um it's going to be up to you if you want to continue to grow this you know said wait just wait because if you get into meditation it's going to bring you a lot of answers and hopefully you'll listen to your intuition yeah that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Standard Time tonight, where you can come for the collective reading, and then um, I will answer questions. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.